You probably hear this a lot, but how we interact with others has changed a lot since 2020. The physical and digital world is now more hybrid than ever before. And most of us still use some form of online communication to speak to our friends and family. So today, we're gonna run through five great features that make Microsoft Teams a go-to application. Roll those titles. Hi, my name is Ben from the Expert Zone UK and I team. And today we are talking about Microsoft Teams and what features can enhance your experience with this app. Now the features covered in this video are all going to be from the home version of Teams. If you want to find out more about Teams for work and school, we will be releasing a video regarding this version. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you are notified when that video comes out. Or if you happen to be watching this in the future, then check our video uploads to see if it's already there. It's also important to point out that there are two versions of Microsoft Teams for home. You can download Microsoft Teams completely for free. Yeah, free. Free is a good one. All you need is a Microsoft account. With this, you get the ability to call up to 100 people at once for 60 minute sessions. If you have a Microsoft 365 subscription, however, this extends up to 300 people for over 30 hours. Now, I thought I could talk for a really long time, but you would have to have some real skill if you're able to talk for more than 24 hours. The features we're going to cover today, however, will be included in both versions, so stay tuned to find out for more. So the first feature is all about how you can access Teams. Now, when you think about Teams, you're quite possibly thinking about sitting at your desk, in front of it, on your laptop, on the web, or desktop version of the app. Well, it's not really that often that I'm actually gonna be in front of the desk. In my personal life, we're always in front of using our phones on a daily basis. In fact, a lot of the time, that's what I'm doing when I'm out and about. And this does not stop me from using Teams, however. Microsoft Teams actually works on both iOS and Android systems and can be downloaded from their relevant app store. From the mobile app version, you can still chat, voice call, and video call. You can also check your calendar and access any files that you've saved through your linked OneDrive account. That means that while I'm away from my desk, as long as I have an internet connection, I can still contact my loved ones via Microsoft Teams or check any chat that might be ongoing. Speaking of chatting to everyone, we know that not everyone may be using Teams to communicate online. There is a huge saturation in the market currently of so many chat, video, and voice calling applications that sometimes it can actually be very hard to know which apps everyone is actually using. Good news is Teams takes away some of that confusion with the ability to chat or invite someone to a call, regardless of if they have Microsoft Teams app downloaded. To send a chat to someone who may not have Teams, all you need is their phone number. Yeah, remember that, phone numbers are still relevant. If you're using a mobile or desktop app, you can easily sync your phone contacts so they're already at your fingertips. Then just start a new chat and send your message. If the person on the other end does not have Teams, they'll receive this message via SMS, followed by a message saying that this was sent via Teams. Very clever. They can either choose to continue responding via SMS or download the Teams app and start messaging you there. If you want to start a voice or video call with the person, but they do not have Teams, you'll notice that the phone and video icons on the top left of the chat will be grayed out. And that doesn't stop you from calling them, however. Just head to the Meet tab and select Meet Now or Meet Later. From there, you can set up a call and receive a link. Just send the link to the people you would like to join a call and it will open Teams in the web browser and you can chat away. So, we've managed to start a chat with people we want to stay connected with. But what now? How can I bring my own personal flair to the video call? Well why not change your background? Microsoft Teams has a range of background you can choose from, including a simple blur to looking like you've jumped into Halo or Minecraft Worlds. To change your background, just head to the three dots icon and select background effects from the menu. Then just select the background of your choice and either preview the effect so you can try it before anyone else can see the change or just apply straight away. 
You can even add your own backgrounds from images you've saved on your device to really personalize the experience. This is also really handy if you want to keep your raw background hidden for whatever reason. Mine is usually to hide the fact that I'm definitely still in bed when I should be meeting someone really soon. You can also bring your personality into the chat thanks to the updated emojis and GIF library. GIFs and emojis can really transform how we communicate via text and bring some emotion into what we say. Plus, my favorite form of comedy is to find the funniest GIF to interject into every conversation. The emojis in Teams have also been recently updated to have more modernized feel as well as to be more animated. To find the perfect emoji or GIF to use in Teams, just open up the chat and click on either the smiley face or GIF icon depending on what you want to use. There is even a handy search function so you can always find the perfect thing to say without saying a word. So we just mentioned using the search function for GIFs and emojis, but did you know Teams also has a search function that allows you to find, well, pretty much anything. You can search for contacts, file names, phrases from specific messages and more. This stops me from having to crawl through multiple chats or files to actually find what I'm looking for so I can get on with what I need to do faster. Plus, it's great for proving a point that you did send that message about that thing that they definitely forgot about. The search bar is really easy to find as it's right at the top of your screen. Just type in what you need, hit enter, and all your results will appear. So that's five ways you can use Microsoft Teams at home to enhance your chats, video, and voice calls. I hope you found this video really helpful today. And if you have, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. That's all for me though, bye.